What is up guys? In today's video we're going to be going over how we can create this list in SwiftUI. And as you may have noticed, it is a navigation view with plenty of places to pick from, some destinations we want to go traveling for example, and if we decide to click on any of them, it's going to take us to a screen with the destination name. So it's actually kind of like a very simple introduction to navigation and lists. So we'll just create this sample app, it's going to have plenty of destinations to pick from, and every time you click on a destination, it's going to take us to that destination name. So let's go ahead and get started immediately by going to Xcode and creating a new empty project. We will click on app, we will call this traveling destinations, we will click on Swift UI and Swift as the language. Then click on next and of course specify a location where you would like to keep this project and click on create. Now for some reason today it decided to select my Mac as the device but we should go ahead and check iPhone 13 as always and we will click on resume just to make sure that everything's working correctly. Now inside traveling destinations we're going to click on that and hold command plus n to create a new Swift file. We'll click on next and we're just going to call it countries and inside here we need to create a variable that contains the list of countries we want to use. So let country list equal and inside here you want to go ahead and enter a list of all the countries you want to include. So I'm going to copy and paste this in. It's actually a list of all the countries and in case you want this list it's going to be in the description down below. I will have a link ready to my GitHub repository where you can copy any part of this project that you want to. But just for the example of this video, I pasted that in. Of course, you can replace this with names or foods or whatever you want to. But after we're done with this, we can go back to our content view and actually close the sidebar. And the first thing we will do is create a variable called countries, which is just going to refer to the country list we just created. And it's that simple to refer to elements in Swift. Next, we want to go ahead and create a navigation view. And inside this navigation view, we're just going to create a list. And inside this list, we're going to refer to the for each. So inside here, we need to specify that we want for each one of our countries. And we also need to specify an ID, which is backslash dot self, since we don't have any IDs to provide. Typing this here will just make the program happy. So for each of these countries, we're going to take each country in. And inside here, we're going to create a navigation link. And the destination is just going to be the text of the country name that we click on. And of course, we need to give it some sort of form. So the first thing I want to provide is an image, which is going to have the system name of airplane. So now if we start the program, we're going to see we have a lot of airplanes, but we don't have a title text or any text there. So let's fix that by typing in text and country. And this should be a lowercase c. So now we have all of the countries in our list and let's give them a little bit of padding between each other. So now we have a bit more space. And finally, we should go ahead and refer to the navigation link. Now let's go ahead and fix the title. So on the for each, we're going to go ahead and type in navigation title. And the title is just going to be equal to destinations. Now if we go ahead and run this program, we should see a lot of locations appear on our emulator and we can actually scroll through this list as much as we want until we find a location we want to use, such as Italy. It will take us to Italy and if we click on Kazakhstan, we'll go to Kazakhstan. And then you can of course process these values as you like once you end on that screen. We can also go to Lebanon if we want. But let's go ahead and click up here so we can go all the way to the top. And that just about concludes this tutorial. So as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.